hello guys welcome back to my channel lovely to see you all today well you would have seen my come shop with me already wouldn't you i think um today i'm doing a home bargains haul i haven't been to a home bargain in ages and i fancied going around and having a look at what they had in for spring uh easter you know i didn't really buy much from that range but i've got quite a lot of stuff so i've had to unpack most of it and i've got a lot of doubles of everything else so i'm going to show you one of everything that i have or it's going to, we're going to be here all day so guys if you like this sort of content hauls lifestyle vlogs just anything in general i try to be a little bit different if well i think i am um please don't forget to hit the subscribe button that would be amazing if you could do that for me and uh, we will go ahead with the haul all right let's get started it's a it's a lot so i'm gonna kind of run for it so the first thing i bought was some eggs i think I, I like their eggs you know they're quite big and these were one eight to nine and you get uh 10 big large eggs in there um and it oh it runs out the 28th of february all right so i'll have to make sure i eat by the well i'm sure what's the day all right we've got a few we've got a while yet um yeah so that was my first uh item some eggs um i bought some orange now i thought let me try these i love these foxes love them you know i mean to be honest i bought them for my son but we'll both be eating them and i'm on a weight loss journey i've actually lost about three pounds which i'm quite happy about i mean i don't know how i did it because i'm still snacking a little bit you know anyway and i bought some pepper we cook a lot with this sort of pepper and put it all over it's like it's, this is like caribbean <laughs> um ketchup this this is this is what everything we put this over to give us a and it's well hot, you know, really hot. I can't really handle too much of it because I, I feel I can't taste the food when I do that. The next thing I picked up was uh, these drinks. It's got all these little, little bits in it. It's got all the little bits in it. And uh, this is an orange flavor. So it will have orange little bits. My son loves this. Oh no, hold on, wait a minute. This is mango. I think this is, oh, this is the mango flavor. Um, my son likes all the bits in there. I can't stand it myself. They're not cheap either. They're like £1.99 for one. Or £1.50 something. It's £1 something. They're not cheap, but I've treated him. I've treated him to a few bits because he passed all his SATs exam. He got top marks in every single subject. And I am so proud of him. The guy is just effortless. He, he doesn't need to think about it. Now, if you gave me them SATs, I'd probably fail every one of them. But he passed and we are really, really proud of him. Good one, Pam. Um, yeah, and I bought some Easy Bleach. Now these are 59p. They're, they're the best ones, actually. I like the white one. They are the best ones. When I am in home bargains, I pick up quite a few of them. So I picked up a couple of those um, for, you know, my toilets and stuff like this. I picked up a couple of baked beans. I should have really picked up four of these barbecue baked, baked beans, Branson's ones, because it was, I think it was £3.20 and one of these was 8 9 p Didn't make any sense. Um, and when I walked off, I thought, you know, I should have turned back. But laziness, I, I didn't turn back. And I love this. Beans on toast. Can't beat it, can you? Beans on toast. I mean, everyone loves a beans on toast, don't they? And as I told you, my other half stopped drinking like a couple years ago. And so we buy him non... He loved the, the taste of alcohol, but he doesn't have it. He's a driver as well, so he can't, um, you know, and he drives... Um, quite big buses so you can't um, drink so I bought these Stella uh, the blue top one and they, they're zero um, alcohol and apparently he says it tastes exactly the same just that you don't have the hit of being drunk um, so I bought him those um, the next thing I bought was some gold cats uh, you know uh, my cats are funny sometimes they like uh, like they love these ones but then they get a minute they don't want them um, so I have to change it up a bit. They're so fussy, these cats. I don't know what is wrong with them. They actually like the cheap stuff from Lidl's. They actually like the cheap, um, I think you get four in a pack for four ninety nine or something. No, six in a pack of these little brand um, food. And they love those food. But it's just that I don't, I mean, I go to Lidl's like every couple of weeks and they eat like pigs, both of them, both of them. They eat like pigs, these cats, I'm telling you. The next thing I picked up was these. Now this, these kebabs are the best. My friend introduced me to these some time ago, a long time ago, and they just taste like the kebab shop kebab. 
you know, you buy the pita breads, you get a bit of salad, put this in your air fryer for five, 10 minutes, and you've got the perfect, perfect kebabs. And I buy two, it feeds a family of five, and I think they're one pound 50 each. So that's three pounds. You probably buy a pita bread for another pound, a couple of pounds to feed a whole family with salad, you know, salad, and it's a very healthy meal. These are the best. You guys need to pick these up. They are, if you haven't tasted them before, comment below. Let me know if you've got an alternative. But I think the Iceland does one as well, but they're not as nice as these ones. Love them. And I always stock up in them. So I bought four packs of those, you know, for, you know, so I don't have to think about meals. Um, now, remember, who remembers these? Now, if you're a British born, I don't know if this was anywhere in, it, in the world, but other places, but I know in England, we had this. I used to love these. I used to buy two or three packs of these all the time. Fish and chips, love them. And I found them in home bargains. I think they've always done them in home bargains, but every time I see them, I pick them up. Just love the saltiness and the vinegar, vinegar, the vinegar of it. Love it, the sourness, you know, love it. And then you get five in a pack for that. You get five in a pack. And then I picked up some energy drinks. Now my other half really just only likes Red Bull, but they're so expensive. So I'm saying to him, try some other, um, try some other um, energy drinks because you can pick up some other energy drinks for 50 pence, like these ones. And this is berry. And I think he did try it once and he did said that they weren't too bad. So I picked up some more of that and I picked up uh, mango flavoring as well. So I picked up a couple of these, picked up a couple of the mangoes and that was two quid. Now Red Bull is like one, one pound something. So it, it makes no sense. So I picked up a those. He, he's trying to come up with these. I mean, he doesn't drink them um, religiously, probably once a month, twice a month, not much. Because, you know, it's not good for you, is it? It's not really good. It's not good for your teeth. It's not, it's not good for you. It's too much energy. The next thing, sorry, my son wanted some money. Oh, there you go. He's gone out the door. He's gone, he's gone out with his mates. It's Saturday. Uh, what is it? Saturday eve No, afternoon. And he's gone out to play basketball with mates. So he needed some money. So there you go. Um, yeah, so coconut cream. I love this cream. I love this cream. It's just so absorbent in your skin. Now, the last time I bought one, and I, I, I viewed it on his channel, when I went upstairs to take it and put it in sort of my... Um, you know, like I've got a cupboard with all my creams and all the rest of it in there. I don't know what you call it, like a side cabinet. It popped in the bag and it all fell out. I didn't screw it back properly, but it comes with this, um, I can't remember what you call these tops. And it's so absorbent. Now I suffer from eczema, really bad me if I haven't told you, all over my hands. It's just really flared up in the last couple of months. And I've been using, I, and the thing is the doctors will give me steroid to, but I don't really like using these things on my skin. So I'm trying to, you know, not put my hands in so much detergent, but even plastic seems to be, you know, the plastic gloves are seem to be um, irritating it. And I'm getting the ones without the powder in it. And it seems to be still irritating my skin. And you know, my hand looks really old, but when they, when um, I put the steroid cream, within a couple of days, it's gone and you know, Remember, I'm gonna have to get onto the doctors to ask. He's gonna say, we've taken you off the road. Cause I, I can't tell the last time I've ran the doctors. Can't can't tell the last. But anyway, I'm gonna have to ring him to get some, some steroid cream cause it's really getting bad and it's coming down the side of my hand here a little bit. Just on this hand really mainly. I see a few spots on here, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and I picked up some um, deodorant for my other half. Um, some deep sea Old Spice. You remember Old Spice? He's, he's old school, but I, do you know, I do like the smell of Old Spice. Oh, it smells so, so fresh. And when I smell it on him, oh God, I want to eat him. Don't tell him though. Don't tell him. It'll go to his head if you tell him I want to eat him. He'll be like on cloud nine the whole day. No, take, no, take that out of your head. I mean, that eating sort of thing, not that sort of eating. Take it right out of your head, please. Oh, let's get on with it all. Yeah. Um, right. And I picked up this for my son. Um, as I said, I've picked up a lot of things, you know, when he does well, I really go all out and treat him. You know, he doesn't really get, I mean, Christmas and birthdays, yes, I go overboard a little bit, but he does not get anything in between. You have to earn, you have to earn. Things don't, I want to teach you that things don't just land in your lap. You've got to earn. And he really does, like, when he's doing, he came on me, ran on my mum, mum, look at my, my marks. You know, he came on with the paperwork, with the stats, the results. Now, this is a mock. Now, if he's done this well in the mock, well, he's gonna explode in the real thing. He's just so... So, what I got is some foil. No. 
Also, what I've got is some foil. Right, so also what I picked up was some five meter foil. We, we have this all the time. We wrap uh, sandwiches in it and all the rest of it. We don't really use the containers, you know, just too much in the bag. So we use a, we, I use a lot of foil for everything, to be honest with you. And then I have a top up of my Dove soap. Love my Dove soap. And you get six in the pack. And I don't think this was that expensive. I think it was about £3.20 or something like this. Um, in, in there. And I, I, I don't like any other colour but this one. They got the pink one, but nothing smells as good as this stuff. Love it. Um, then I picked up some Himalayan, Himalayan salt. <laughs> I think I've got a, a short tongue, you know, because things don't come out of my mouth. I swear to God, that that's the problem. Anyway, so I picked up these salts for the bar, but I've run out of it, and uh, I love it. It's all natural salt, 100%. And um, Home Bargains does a massive range of that, a massive range. And then I picked up because we're trying to drink more water, but I can't just have the plain water. So I just, this lasts me ages. The last one I bought was, um, I think the end of November. And it, well, the kids mostly drank it, but I, I just love Vimto. I love Vimto. I do love Vimto. And I also bought it in, let's have a look. I also bought it in this flavor as well. Um, and it's all sugar free. Um, I think the other one wasn't sugar free, but Usually I get a sugar free one. These are £3.50. I think that's the same for every single place you go to. Then I picked up some, um, well, you know, Easter. Um, my family, we always, always try to get together, uh, you know, any holidays, you know, Easter holiday, Christmas holidays, uh, summer holidays. We always try to catch up at least three, four times a year. And I just thought, let me just get some little, you know, um, alcohol in me cupboard stocked up when I come out. When I see deals, I get it. I think this was on a deal, um, daiquiri, 5% um, alcohol. I mean, that is like water to them, them lot. <laughs> and then I picked up this one, which is passion fruit martini um, in orange. That looks quite nice, actually. I wouldn't mind a little tiddle myself of that one. And then, what else have I got? I've got, I've got, an, I've got another bag. Let me get this stuff out of the bag so you don't have to hear the ruffling. Hold on one minute. Right, guys, I'm back. You know, I put everything away because um, it was just too much on the table, and I couldn't, I couldn't function. I couldn't function, so I, I packed them all away, and I've got the little bits of pieces left to show you um, in this haul. So the next thing I'm going to show you is cat food. Nothing exciting. These are quite cheap actually, and I'm hoping my cats like him because uh, as I explained earlier, they're very, very fussy and I've got the fishy flavors. So, um, and that wasn't actually too bad. I was 350 for a free. It actually was cheaper than Lidl's. So I hope they do like it or I'll be going down there to be getting them some more. And I bought a free packs of those. I really should have tried them with one because if they turn around and tell me they don't like it, they'll have to be gifted to my mum's cats who they eat anything. Well, no, she's got one now because one, decided to want to be playing bad man and walk out and ran out through the front door and a car went over his head you know because the door's a jar and it's always trying to bolt and bolt to go through the front door the other one my mum's had for about 15 years doesn't even go by the front door but this one is it's a newer kitten they had and it just wanted to explore and no matter how much they shut that door he was trying to find a way out the, the postman come or anything and one day someone came and this cat just bought for it and that was it. You just hear it crash. Well, you didn't hear bang, you just hear like a ball popping and that was his head. Um, so my, my sister was really upset. Um, so they've got one cat now. That was, I was thinking, why was I telling that story? Because I was telling you about the cat food. Anyway, bought some Frosties, you know, cause as I said, my son is, um, well, what happens is me and his dad do um, share parenting. So I have him from Friday evenings right until Monday morning where he, I drop him off to school and his dad goes and picks him up Monday and has him back um, Friday, drops him to work in school Friday and I get him, you know, so it's about three and a half days each. But when he's on holiday, he always comes down and spends the whole week and just gives his dad, you know, because men can't, they can't handle it. So he stays with me the whole week. So I just get extra bits for him um, while he's off for this, is it a week they're off for? I think it's one week they're off for. So I can hear him upstairs now on the PlayStation. You, I'm surprised you guys, don't think you guys can hear it, but I can hear him on the PlayStation with his mates. Now I'm always talking out, we've got to talk to our kids. 
um, about these online business, you know. We're always, we put some, you know, some safeguards on his phone and on the the um, PlayStation. We're always checking his, his, whatever he's doing on the phone. We have to do it because what's happening in this world with this social media and kids is absolutely crazy. But you can't stop it. You can't band it because, you know, you you can isolate them, you know, and I'm not being funny, half of their homework now is done on a computer. So I don't know how they're gonna get this regulation to be passed that they just have kiddies phones. I don't know. I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, you know, but I think it starts from the home. We have to educate our kids. Like, this is a, these are the things that are happening. I'm telling, when that, that, that poor girl died on, so, you know, through social media, I said, listen, look what happened to this girl. You know, be careful. If anyone asks you for your pin or personal, you come and tell one of your parents or tell someone immediately. You know, it's scary. I was talking about Kellogg's. You know me, I can go, go into some other, yeah, anyway. And I also bought these. He loves, he loves these. He loves these mateys. Oh, they, and they are nice, you know. They're like marshmallow sort of thing. This, he will say, if I give him the Frosties first, he'll be like, why didn't you give me um, the other cereal? I, I wanted that first. This will go before the, the, the Frosties are finished. They, they, they will go, you know, um, but they are tasty, but damn expensive. I think they're cheaper. They're cheaper than um, B&M. Uh, yeah, they are, because I bought them in B&M. They were like four something, four ninety nine. But as I said, because he's done good, he gets a treat. Don't mind it. You've got to invest in your children. You've got to invest in them, you know? you. Yeah, well, you know it. You you guys know it. You all, you, most of you are mothers, I'm sure. You you know you know your kids. If you invest in your kids, I mean, not every time. It should it should pay off. Anyway, I don't know if it's a counselling session or a haul. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> anyway, look, I couldn't I couldn't risk. I don't know why I picked up more glasses. I don't know why. These are glasses actually. Usually I pick up the plastic ones from B and M. Not, yeah, B&M. I picked up the plastic ones, but I just couldn't resist. One pound each. I mean, do, do you remember the days when you used to buy crystal? You're talking about 15 pounds for a set. I remember I bought some years when I first made me out, me um, first wage packet. Some point then, and I bought my mum a nice crystal set. Trust me, it took half of my wages. It's beautiful. She's still got it now, you know. Years later, she's still got it now. But I mean, these are even better quality. Look, at, look how thick they are. Do you know what I mean? And I love crystal. I love crystal, crystal and I love China. I love China. In fact, <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking for a China cup with, with a saucer, a nice quality one. Now, I did have a client years ago, gave me one, and I don't know where it went. When, I don't know in, in my moving over the years, if I've lost it, if I broke it, but I tell you what, there is something about drinking tea from a China cup. There is, there's something about it because it tastes different. I feel posh, you know me. You know me, I like to feel posh on a budget. You, you know me. Um, and it was nice. So I'm, I'm on a hunt for that. I'm on a hunt for that. And if I find some in a charity shop, I always, when I go in charity shops, I'm, my eyes are always looking out for them. So I picked up, anyway, I picked up these glasses, get back to this. I'll get these glasses for one pound and they are, I mean, I've dropped, dropped one coming in here and it didn't break. They're so thick and heavy for one pound. How do they, how do they even make it for one pound? Anyway, I picked up them. I, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it, all right? I should show you my um, cup, uh, my cup um, cupboard. I'm stacking cups on top of cups now. The other day I had a bit of a clear out, so there's a bit of room, but I'm slowly building it all up again, and I? Yeah, I am. So, <laughs> I picked up these. Because we're always running out of plastic bags at home. And I, and I don't know why, bin bags. I buy them all the time. Anyway, we're not going to run out of these ones too soon, are we? Um, you get, I think this was three fifty, and you get 50, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was It was two ninety nine. It was two ninety nine, and you get 50 strong duty heavy bags. Now, I bought some bags and they were bloody cheap. I had to check to make sure these were thick because the ones I bought before, every time I was trying to take it out of my bin, it was ripping inside the bin. So I had to end up taking it outside to the bin shoot, uh, bin bins outside and turn it upside down, my bin upside down because I couldn't get the plastic bag out. So I thought I'm gonna pick up some heavy duty ones um, and they really feel heavy duty. 
and that should last us a while. I mean, what is it? Two uh, plastic bags a week we use, not unless we're doing a real good clear out. Um, that should last us a couple of a year at least. So I don't have to think about plastic bags. I think the last ones I bought was from um, Costco. I bought them, I think the last ones I bought was from Costco and they were shit. Anyway, next thing I bought was Fairy Liquid. Now, <laughs> Every time, now I buy these, when I'm buying fairy liquids, I go for the big ones. My other half and the other lots, if we run out of soap liquid, they go for that small one. So it don't, don't last us no time. What's the point? I mean, the small ones were one pound something and this is two pound 20. Like, you know, it makes sense to buy a bigger one and make it last a bit longer. So I bought a couple of these. Cause if it's one thing with me, I don't, I like to stock up. I'm like my mum. I like to, I like, I've got a cupboard out there and I've got, backups of everything i like backups i don't like running out of things backup of sugar flour soap powder everything because i don't like to run out i'm like my mum my mum used to have a cupboard with a um with a key on it she used to have all the biscuits in there as well she used to put biscuits in there we used to pick lock and <laughs> eat the biscuits <laughs> there were the days they were, i mean she couldn't afford much so she had to budget she had to budget you know with us because we were we would have at that house down anyway Look at this, look how cute. No, 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 I'm not showing you this yet. Wait, hold on, I'll show you the, the good bits after. Look at this. I actually like that pink. Um, yeah, this, I need one of these. I need one of these for my hair. My hair is all getting wet. And you know, Afro-Caribbean people don't like getting their hair wet. It's too long to style. It takes all day to style. We don't want to get our hair wet. So we have to cover it. And actually, this is actually good for a nice steaming cap as well. If you want a good, you know, if, all for you European ladies as well. If you want to put like a mask on your hair and you, you know, want to have a little bit of sweat down to, you know, 10 minutes underneath that with, so I don't know, with some aqueous cream to give your hair a bit of silk and that. This is good, you know. And this was 50 pence. Now, I did have one years ago. I don't know where it is, but I saw the pink and I thought I like that. And I said, you know, I could actually do that. You never know you need things until you see it, do you? You never need it until you've seen it. And obviously I needed this. So I bought it. I did. Right. So anyway, and I bought some bubble bath. I like this one. I usually like the orange one, but they didn't have any orange one, which I was really surprised about. Um, the body and soul range. So I bought the deep, um, deep blue. And it smells all right. It smells okay. It smells like a spa. It smells, that's fine. I don't mind smelling like a spa. Um, yeah, but you know, really the real reason why I buy a bubble bath, because my lot, you know, they don't like scrubbing down the bath and they believe if they put this in the bath, it kind of cleans itself. And I'm always saying, no, rinse out that bath after yourself. Yeah, rinse out the bath. I'm always going in the bathroom and I'm thinking, who's used the bath before I turn around and someone's bleaching the bath down. Keep my bath clean, yeah? Anyway, then I bought, oh, let me see if I can get this one over. I don't know. Oh. Right, and I bought this. Now, this was £8.50. I think that's quite cheap for some soap. Now, I'm really a liquid person, but because this was on a deal, I bought the powder. And it said it does 80 wash, but I mean, it will do probably about 40 or 60 for me, because one scoop of this ain't gonna wash my, my kids' clothes. They do swimming, they do football, basketball, and um, they play in the rain, mud, all the rest of it. I need couple of scoops for their clothes. So I bought that and that was 8.50. And I didn't think that was a bad pack. It said extra L uh, mega pack. And obviously surface the best in it. It's one of the best. It smells gorgeous, gorgeous. It smells great. Now let me show you the, now I didn't pick up a lot of stuff for Easter. I just, because I've got a few things from last year that I've had. So I thought I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to swap it out a bit. And I have gifted some of my stuff from last year away. And the first thing I picked up, which I'm going to put on, on my shelf just by the window here, is this little rabbit, rabbit, this little bunny rabbit, this little snow globe. Look at him in there. He looks gorgeous. He looks absolutely, and I love the sort of fluorescent um, sort of sparkles in there. I could watch that every day. I'm not even shaking it, you know. Well, I've just shaked it now, but I've just picked up and it seems like it floats continuously. I just, I love snow gloves though. I love, and it says Happy Easter on the bottom of there. Don't that look gorgeous? 
Oh, that's lovely. And the next thing I picked up, I've always wanted this. I've always wanted it, but I've never got it. Never got it. Once I did see it in there and I just left it. Once I went in there to go and get it and it wasn't there. Once I went in there, they had one on the shelf and one was broken, one, one was missing. And today I went in there, they seemed like they were packing them out because I went early in the morning. And I was this. Now, I love this. I've seen so many YouTubers with it and I thought I really, really like it. Do I really need it? No, probably not. Um, but yeah, I got it anyway. So, obviously, it comes... Now, it's got three... No, it's, it's got two sizes in this box here. Let me take out one so you can have a look. I just love them, you know. I just think you can put sweets in there, little Easter eggs, you know. I mean, I buy a lot of um, Easter eggs. So I've got a, quite a few nieces and nephews. So I, I, I kind of go, I, I bought some Easter eggs, but I can't show you in this haul. It's just to be too long. But maybe I'll do an Easter egg haul or something because I've got 10 Easter eggs um, for little for my little nieces, nephews and friends and, and all the rest of it. I buy even buy one for my partner. Yeah, so let me show you this. Let me get it out. So they wrapped it really well in there. They wrapped it really, really well. So there's two sizes. Oh, look at it. There's, there's a top of one of them. Oh, God. I love it. I just think they're so cute. I've always wanted to get it. Always. And they stick out in nine. They're no different from they were last year. I don't think they were exactly the same. And this is how it is. Look at that. I just think that's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love that. I'm going to fill it up with jelly beans, eggs. I'm going to put eggs in the big one and have them out when my family comes over, pack them away, um, you know, just bring them out for Easter. Listen, I have everything for every season in my place because I like to swatch it out. I get bored. I get actually bored. If I could paint my place every other month, I would. Um, I'm going to be painting in here because I've just had a new patio door put in. So it needs a bit of a, a brucing up in here a bit. Um, but yeah, look at that. $6.99 for two. And then you get the bigger one, which is here, which I'll leave in the, the case for you. I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. It's, just, it's simple, you know, it's simple, but, but just really elegant. Love it, love it, I, I really love it. The last thing I'm gonna show you, um, I, I, I really love this as well, I, I really do, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't buy it if I didn't love it, obviously. But let me show you this. This is so gorgeous. Can you imagine on a nice sort of spring's day and you've got two candles and the night the night is falling down and this is on your table, centerpiece. It just reminds you of like spring is here, summer is coming. Oh, I love that feeling, you know? We must cherish these sort of feelings that we get. The feelings and these and these are part of the ambience that you you present in your home, and I just love. I mean, that is just beautiful with the eggs. Now, I've seen some other glitter eggs which you could stick in between these, but I just think because this looks so simple and beautiful with the foliage and and stuff in and and there, it have to move that out of the way. The candle, wouldn't you? I just think that's so pretty, so pretty. And this was two ninety nine, not bad at all not bad at all i just think that was so beautiful i love beautiful things anyway yeah so yeah so that's what i picked up in home bargains today it half of it I'd probably not half of it a bit of it i never showed you because it's so boring really to show you and I, I did buy i mean i came out with one two three four and that's it four small bags and one big massive bag. I spent 220 pounds, which I don't think is bad for all the things I've got. Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, because I did pick it up and I did treat myself and I, I thought me and my, you know, because my son done so well, let's go and have a little shop around. But that's it, mate. That's it for the month. That is it. I've got some Amazon stuff coming today, which I've been, you know, I need a new sort of, I'll show you in a haul. I'll show you in a haul. Anyway, guys, you know, thank you for staying with me this long. I appreciate every single one of you. I pray God blesses you guys' heart. You're just a wonderful crowd. Um, I feel very grateful, gratitude, the gratitude that I feel for you guys um, just sticking around with me and, you know, supporting me. You just wouldn't even imagine what I feel inside. 
and um, I just want to say, I just want to say thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless you. Love you. Stay safe. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.